What is going on guys, my name is Len, today I am bringing you guys yet again another video and for today's topic, I know I, I haven't made a video in a little bit of time so I want to kind of address that really quickly. I do apologize for the lack of videos, there's been a lot of things going on and I, I do apologize but the videos will start to continue to come back over time due to things kind of just working itself out. So I do apologize for that but just keep in mind the videos are coming and I, like I said I, I am terribly sorry for the lack of um, consistency with my videos as of late but just know that will change. So uh, my original plan for today was to actually talk about and maybe give a recap. Uh, for week two of the Call of Duty World League, and I might save that for another video, I might save that maybe even a couple days from now, uh, and I might just wait till week three and kind of cover it that way, do like a predictions and also a recap of that week. But just know that I've been watching matches like crazy, and one major thing that's going on, and even if you watch the Call of Duty World League, if you watch pros in any sense, I mean, if you're on Twitter, what, if you're in the Call of Duty scene and you know what's going on, the G-Slide uh, is kind of a major topic, and it sounds kind of weird to say the word G-Slide, but I'm going to kind of, if you don't really know what it is, I'll kind of maybe brief you on what it exactly the movement type thing in the game is and uh, how that the plans are to kind of change that and why hasn't it been changed yet as well. So at the beginning of the game, beginning of Black Ops 3, there was a video that was released from Spacely, which I'll link down in the description. He also tells you guys how to G-slide if you're kind of curious and stuff. Since it's out there, I don't only really think it's that big of a deal to let everyone know how to do it. Uh, personally, I can do it. Uh, it just takes a little bit of practice. If you have scuff sticks especially, which I can show you guys my scuff for my PS4, it's a lot easier to do it whenever you have scuff sticks on the back of it, just how the movement system works, but you can still do it if you don't have a scuff. So either way, Spacely makes this video, and uh, he basically explains what G-slotting is. And it's basically a movement system that's in the game that is kind of in a way like a glitch. Now, I'm treading on my words carefully here because it's not really a glitch. Some people call it a glitch, some people don't. It's basically a movement system in the game that's not designed to actually be there. Uh, so how it works is that you basically jump up one time, and while you're in the middle of jumping, you also have the button to slide, and then once you get ready to slide, you release that button, and basically you fly forward a very far amount. And in, in, in the game of Black Ops 3, that movement doesn't exist. There's nothing else like that in the game besides sliding and jumping. This kind of combines the two and elevates you far, much farther forward than any other type of thing in the game overall. And to some people, they automatically think, oh, this isn't that big of a deal, it's not that big of an issue, uh, you know, it's just a little movement system, doesn't really cause anything, nothing really changes, and, and to some ways I can kind of agree, you know, in some cases how, how it doesn't really affect anything as far as like public matches and stuff go, but as far as competitive games, as far as an actual objective game goes, G sliding just in general, or a movement system that's not supposed to be in the game that allows you to elevate that much farther forward to kind of keep your momentum going, especially with a combination of like afterburner, which keeps you going constantly, so you're moving... I don't know, I want to say twice as fast, but in some ways, if you're in search and destroy, if you're in hard point, if you're rotating, I mean, that's a major key. I, I think in a match the other day, I can't remember who it was between, I think it might have been Complexity, and Miracles had the flag on Stronghold Search and Destroy, and there was literally like a point of a second left, and he was able to G-slide and scores just in the nick of time. However, if that G-slide would not have been there, they would have tied the game, or they would have lost the game. I'm not sure what exactly happened. I wasn't really watching specifically that game, but that game would have not gone in their favor, which is it's a big deal. I mean, that's just one game in particular, and you have to look at search and destroy, how fast you get to get to uh, you know certain picks on the map, and you know, and how rotations come into play, and how uh, on a hard point. You know who gets to a hill first and honestly it's all about g, g sliding roots and uh, like i said it all came down to that first video that spacely made players kind of got the hang of it he i don't think he wanted to release it it, it was kind of like right before the black ops 3 uh land qualifiers where everyone started to kind of realize this movement system they got the hang of it and now it's kind of completely changed the game and so those are just a, a sample of different ways that the game can change and i guarantee some of the league matches that we've had this really benefits a lot of players as far as movement wise if they're constantly moving around the map uh you know whatever have you if they have that movement system in their abilities i mean that's why we've seen such high CTF scores and sometimes in some maps or, or why t some teams are dominating over others is in some cases because of the G-slide and some players can do it I'd say like 90% of the entire pro players can probably do it by now uh, most of the public scene can't actually do it I don't think I mean I don't really see people G-sliding that often I think in pubs but as far as the competitive scene, I mean, you're going to see people doing that all the time. Uh, you know, it's like a big deal if players are bumping each other because they can't get their G-slide going or not. Uh, but like I said, it, it plays a big role in a lot of different matches. And there's been a lot of uh, speculation, a lot of people asking, you know, is it going to be taken out? Uh, there was a recent patch that went out the other day and everyone was thinking, oh, it must be the G-slide patch. Because I believe on the uh, Call of Duty World League EU stream uh, with Machine and Momo, they were kind of talking and, and giving a little brief down that there was going to be a patch. And that's why they were kind of in a commercial break. They couldn't really come back from it because they were apparently having a patch to the movement system. System. And that to me was like, oh, that has to be the G-slide. What else could it be? You know, I don't really see another issue with the movement system that we found yet, um, or at least that's made itself known yet. 
and uh, everyone was thinking, oh, it has to be the G-Slide patch, and it wasn't. And, you know, the patch came out, it wasn't really re resulting in anything like that. And uh, everyone was, including myself, I thought it was going to be the G-Slide patch, but it wasn't. So that was kind of a little bit unfortunate, but, you know, that's just how it kind of goes. And uh, there's been remarks from, I think, I, I believe David Vonderhaar has tweeted this out before. I've never actually seen the tweets, but I, th I think people have kind of mentioned it. And it's came to a consistent consensus that they want this out of the game. So it's not like the G-Slide's in it, you know, too bad, good luck. It's that the G-Slide's in it, and they're finding a way to get it out of the game. And uh, I think once that happens, we're going to see a lot of different gameplay kind of take place and, and I want to mention as well that I like the idea of having something in the game that causes skill that not everyone can do you know it's a, kind, of, kind of like a skill based thing um, and I think in some ways as far as Call of Duty Competitive goes is that we struggle to kind of say, you know what, this is a this is a very different skill game. Like, you know, in other titles, it's like everyone realizes the skill gap between pros and regular public match players. And I think with, with Call of Duty, I think this is kind of a cool feature in, in some ways because... You know, this is this kind of separates you know some players from other players because they have a lot more skill, they have a lot more um, you know time put into this certain movement. However, when the movement changes this drastically, when something like this happens, it's very unpredictable. You know, it leads to different matches that most likely wouldn't have happened. Uh, you know, but if it's a lot of certain players who are used to this movement, and honestly, if it's not supposed to be in the game. I don't think players should be reaping from the benefits for something that's not actually supposed to be there at all, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Now, I don't know how they're going to work out the G-Slide of just one day it's here, one day it's gone. I don't really know how it's going to work, uh, but just keep in mind that in the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, it could be out of the game, and uh, you might be watching this video hoping to find out what happened with that. So if you guys want to stay tuned to my channel, I will definitely have that up for you guys, what's uh, kind of going on with the G-Slide. It's not really, I mean, people call it the G-Slide. I think it's kind of funny to say it that way. I just call it kind of like a power boost or, uh, you know, just like that, but... Just know if you are a fan of it, if you're not a fan of it, just know that in some ways it is good, some ways it's bad. I, like I said, I compared it to the fact that it completely revolutionized the game as far as speed goes, as far as, like I said, going, capping a CTF flag, you know, that Miracles example for complexity. Uh, you know, how fast uplink moves and, and how fast this game is already, I think having that movement system doesn't really help it at all. It kind of makes it even much more fast paced than it wasn't really intended to be. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys want to put down in the comments your guys' thoughts about G-Sliding, feel free to do so. I want to know your guys' thoughts, whether you agree with me or not let me know down in the comments as well and that's really going to do it for this video so like i said make sure to, to like the video if you guys did learn anything new or just enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for future videos that will be coming out a lot more frequently so guys thank you so much for watching this video once again i will see you all later have a fantastic day and until next time peace out I'm on a run.